and welcome to Food Network. And this is the Rahul Hadap Show, and this is my assistant, Sanchit God. So today, we are not going to be doing a normal show. We are going to be extracting DNA from a tomato. Sanchit, would you show them the tomato? This is the tomato in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. So, the first thing you want to do before for the extraction process is you really want to mash up the tomato good. So, you don't need to do it too hard, just lightly, very lightly. Um, so, just like that. Hold it closer to the ground. Um, nice there. Pretty good. So, just mash it up real nice. Make sure the bag is sealed so nothing spills out. And since tomatoes are really chunky, you want everything nice and nice gooey liquid for the best results. So, Sancho, if you want to continue. Okay. Uh, yeah, so right now it's like that, but there, as you can see, there's still lots of chunks, so you might want to mash it a bit more. And I'm actually doing this over a paper towel because if you do this the wrong way, this the Ziploc will rip and it will spill, so... Yeah, so... You want to make sure that there are, like, it's really uh, nice and smooth and the big, big things, so... Right there. Okay, and... Almost done. So, you really want to mash it for about maybe 30 seconds to a minute, maybe even more. Depends how long it takes for you to mash. Now, the skin of the tomato, you probably won't be able to mash. So, like this right here, all this liquidy stuff, that's what you want. This, this stuff right here, this is all skin, and it really can't get much better than that. Yeah, so maybe you can break the skin. But this is about the best you can get with the tomato. It's okay. really nice and gooey. So now you open the bag. Okay. And now you pour some of this buffer in it. And what this buffer is made of is it is water, soap, and a little pinch of salt. Okay, so I'm going to pour this in. Careful. Okay. Be really careful. Um, and see, seal the bag tightly. And, and you might want to do it like right over a piece of paper. Yeah, and so this is it. It has the buffer included now, which um, you just want to pour about, is it one milliliter? Yeah. About a milliliter of buffer. No, in wait, the, no, not a milliliter, like a teaspoon. A teaspoon of um, buffer in there. So keep mashing that. Now, the point of this isn't to get the tomato any softer. This actually like destroys the cell wall and stuff of the tomato. And the other molecules in the tomato. And um, so give it, once again, give it a good mash, maybe about a minute long. Nice, good, gooey gump you want there. Okay. And yeah, so this is actually what lets you get to the DNA and see it's like all soapy and gooey. Okay, so now what you want to do is you'd want to pour it into something that you know, you can probably hold the liquid in, which is kind of like this cup, you know, like this act, This actually is like the thing that cupcakes are wrapped in, so yeah. That works fine, or cheesecloth, this also works. Okay, so now... We just gently pour this in. So if you want, wait, 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 if you want to see right here, and uh, we're just going to pour it in. Be very careful. Oh, that's all wet. Coconut oil. So, as Sanchit continues to pour, I'll just go get one more, just to make sure that... Yeah, so you, yeah, you'd want to like pour it in there, real nice. Um, so! Yeah, so we're, we're actually putting this through a couple because we don't want to spill it. You guys don't see? We just put it in just a couple so we don't spill. Okay, and now what you want to do is... Maybe just get a little bit of those okay. ch chunks in there. Okay, 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 that's good, that's good. So uh -huh. now what you'd want to do is, is you would want to squeeze the contents through into something that will hold it, like this metal cup. Anything would work fine. So we're actually going to do this off the camera because you need to squeeze it. And if you don't do it right above the cup, you know, it will kind of fall so everywhere. We'll just show you, show them the cup. And we're just going to squeeze that right into here. Oh yeah, so 
Just squeeze it out of the little funnel or cupcake thing. Don't tilt it too much. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so basically you are going to be left over with like strawberry chunks, which won't be able to go through the back. So. Or tomato chunks or whatever you use. Okay, so uh, show them the liquid. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is in the bowl. Yeah, so show them the bowl. I am there. And okay. now what you'd want to do is, um, you actually want to pour some rubbing alcohol in Or there. ethanol. Yeah. Anything. You can get this at any local store. CVS. Lucky. Yeah. So. Yeah, so now we pour um, some of this into the cup. Yes. In. So here, let me do this on camera. Okay, so you might want to pour a little, and and you only want to add about one dropper full. So okay, and now this, uh, you would want to, uh, you'd want to use a wooden skewer in or a between. toothpick right there. Yeah, so we're gonna use a toothpick, and Rahul is gonna extract some DNA. And what you'd want to do is you'd want to twist the toothpick in between your fingers so like the DNA kind of coils around the toothpick. Right there. Yes. yes. So, okay. No, no, no. Show them. I'll get another one. Hang on. So there's a lot. It may take a little bit of a while to get it out. It's actually a bunch of chunks. Right there. Right there is a good chunk. So if you see that hanging on the end of the toothpick, right that is there. our DNA from a tomato. Pure DNA right there. Right there. So, you can just set that down anywhere. And that's pretty much it. So That's you how you extract DNA from, from a tomato. Uh, thank you for watching, and next week, catch us on chicken. Roasted chicken. All right, we'll be back up to this commercial break. See ya.